former U.S. President Donald Trump issued a stark warning on March 16, suggesting that if he fails to secure victory in the upcoming November presidential election, it could spell the end of American democracy. Speaking passionately to a crowd of supporters in Ohio, the Republican presidential candidate doubled down on his unfounded allegations that his defeat in the 2020 election to Democratic President Joe Biden was due to widespread election fraud. Against the backdrop of blustery winds and occasional profanity, Trump painted a dire picture, forecasting that should he not emerge victorious in the November 5 election, the very fabric of American democracy would unravel. If we don't clinch this election, I fear we may not witness another fair electoral process in this nation, Trump declared. Currently facing criminal charges in Georgia for his attempts to overturn the 2020 election results, Trump recently secured enough delegates to formally secure the Republican nomination. With a potential rematch against President Biden looming, recent polling data from Reuters, Ipsos indicates a tight race, with both candidates neck and neck among registered voters. Kicking off his remarks in Dayton, Trump paid homage to his supporters currently incarcerated for their involvement in the January 6, 2021 Capitol riots, hailing them as patriots and hostages. Throughout his campaign speeches, Trump has increasingly adopted dystopian rhetoric concerning the state of the nation. In a fiery speech segment addressing tariffs on imported cars and foreign competition in the auto industry, Trump ominously proclaimed, if I am not re-elected, the consequences will be catastrophic for our nation. When pressed for clarification on his bloodbath comment, Trump's campaign referred to a social media post by a New York Times journalist, citing discussions about the U.S. auto industry and the economy. Responding to Trump's remarks, Biden campaign spokesperson James Singer condemned Trump's extremism, vendetta-driven agenda, and threats of political violence. In a bid to court Black and Hispanic voters, pivotal constituencies in the upcoming election, Trump highlighted his stance on immigration, asserting that illegal immigrants under Biden's administration were adversely affecting minority communities. Claiming, Albeit without evidence, that illegal immigrants were displacing jobs, Trump appealed to the economic concerns of African American and Hispanic voters. As the election season intensifies, Trump's dire predictions and aggressive rhetoric underscore the high stakes of the upcoming presidential race.